this is Suzanne with Sweet Tea and Whimsy. Today I'm going to show you a fun little project that is real easy to do and doesn't require um, anything but a few simple supplies that you may already have at home. So before we get started, I'll tell you what you need. You're going to need a couple of binder clips. These can be found at the Dollar Tree. And when I purchased them at the Dollar Tree, they had several different sizes. This being the medium size and this the small size. They, all, they um, also had some larger ones, which will be good for this project as well. And I've already used those, so the remaining ones I have are these two sizes. You're going to need a pair of scissors, small little fabric scraps, and you're going to need some old beads, nothing fancy, some ribbon or some um, string or yarn. Anyway, I don't want you to get um, to thinking it's a lot of supplies you're going to need. It's really very simple. I'll go ahead and get started so that you can see what you'll need. So let's get started on this fun little project. Here's a sneak peek of what we're making today. It is miniature purses and miniature perfume bottles with miniature hats. I'm going to show you today how to make the miniature purses and perfume bottles. So let's get started, guys. Okay, we're going to start with one of the larger clips. I'm going to cut a small piece of fabric. Very small piece, it really doesn't take much. Let's see if I can do this a little bit better. I think I grabbed the worst pair of scissors I have in my supply closet. Obviously I did. If you hear the noise in the background, that's my husband. He's mowing the, um, the lawn today. So he's outside working and I've been working, but now I'm playing. So the first so the thing you're going to want to do is we're going to put the fabric on the outside of our purse. So there's several different ways to do this. Once you start playing with it, you will find your own way. And what I mean is, when you look at some of the purses I've made, some of them are more um, streamlined, as this one is here. And then some of them are like this, where we just kind of pushed the fabric and glued it inside. So there's a lot of different ways to do this. And what is fun is just seeing what all different ways you can come up with. See, so here's another one where the fabric was just tucked into the side of the purse. So let's see what we're going to do here. I'm thinking that we're gonna make this a somewhat casual purse. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of my um, quick dry tacky glue. And I'll go ahead and get started with this side, which is as simple as just pressing it down so that it would add, the fabric will adhere to the clip. Now I'm going to turn it over and do the same thing on this side. Looks like it's about time for some more tacky glue. Then I simply take it and roll it over. Let that get a little tacky. And then I'm going to, oh guys, hold on. I have got to get another pair of scissors. Okay, let's see if these will work a little bit better. Here we go. It's 
So because we're going to make this purse somewhat uh, casual, sometimes I like to just take my extra fabric that's on the side and tuck it in and kind of leave it a little bit loose so that it looks like the folds of the purse. So let's do the same thing here. And then we'll pull out just a little bit of it so that it kind of looks like the folds of a purse. So there is step one. Okay, we're leaving these clips on our binding clip uh, purposefully at this point. You'll see why we needed them to stay in just a moment. So the next step that I'm going to do is, okay, I just went into my ribbon stash and I found this pretty little violet color and we're just going to give the purse just a little bit of trim. So we have our trim on our purse. And next we're going to take our clips and open them up like this. Here's where you need to decide what kind of handle you want for your purse. I've used chain, fabric, leather cording, and another thing that I like to use is I like to take the handles off of little gift bags that I've already used and they're ready for the trash, and I recycle these and use them for little purse handles, and I think that's what I'm going to use today. So I cut me a small piece, kind of get it bent into the shape that I need for my purse handles. And then I'm going to pry this open just a little bit and put my purse handle in. And then at this point, I can remove the silver clips. And it looks like my ribbon was not, my ribbon trim was not dry enough. So let's go back and add a little bit of glue. Okay, what I am ready to do at this point is um, get some beads to see what kind of bead I want to use for my snap. Now that one is just way too big. Let's see what else we have in here. I'll just use one of these silver beads as the handle for the purse today. So all you have to do is add a little tacky glue where you want your handle to sit. Add your little handle and wait for it to dry. So, here's the little binder clip purse. And to make the perfume bottles, I've made all kinds of perfume bottles. They're so much fun to make. You can use any assortment of beads. You can top them off with a little bit of fingernail polish. Uh, they're just so much fun to make. 
So I think that we're going to look at maybe one of these beads. I first tried to use the tacky glue to uh, put together the perfume bottles because I had not tried doing that with the tacky glue before. And like I thought, it did not work. So I did remove the tacky glue from these beads here and I heated up the hot glue gun and I used it to make my tiny perfume bottles. So that was so much quicker and easier and just worked perfectly. So that is the easiest way that I have found to make the bead perfume bottles.